One of the very important things is once the carer uh, has met and the family perhaps have gone together at meetings to explain what their relative's diagnosis is and maybe uh, what medication is the person will be taking, um, what the future may hold. The clinicians now uh, in the um, uh, public mental hospitals, there is pretty good routine of meeting with families. But the meetings are fairly short. In cases where the families don't speak English, interpreters are uh, involved. But after meeting with the families, they're still very, very confused about different things, about the illness and what happened. Because with serious mental illness, sometimes before the actual um, a time where the person is taken into hospital or maybe the CAT teams visit the home. There have been incidents that have been uh, quite difficult to manage and most of those uh, issues that happen are because of the strange behaviours that the relative has shown and it becomes quite frightening to a carer uh, really uh, remembering these incidents. Uh, so it's really quite important, I feel, and I did this myself, was to actually work within your family and to break down that stigma within the community. You've got to break it down within your family first. And I will always be grateful to my husband who, when we told him the diagnosis of our son's illness, he immediately said, we are not going to hide what our son is suffering from. We will tell everybody. And he said at the time he wanted to talk to all the children and their partners and any of the grandchildren who at the time were old enough to understand what the illness is and how we're going to manage it. And then he said, I'm also going to talk to my friends. And it was really interesting because later when he came home and said, I did talk to my friends, they all looked at me, he said, and there was silence. Nobody said anything. But that gave me more courage, he said, that each time we met again, I would give them a little bit more information. And today I found that by doing, by the way he did it, I felt very comfortable and I was able to manage much better because there was no stigma. Nobody dared have a stigma towards my family. Uh, we had our, held our head high and we respected our person with illness. And I think that is something that within a family there will always be some uh, members, uh, there may be uh, jealousy within families, within children. There are all sorts of different issues that might happen. But I really feel that in a family, when there's one person with mental illness, that either the mother or father or maybe one of the siblings may have that strength to pull the family together and we all learn what the symptoms mean and we all learn that what these behaviours show means that we too have to change the way we actually communicate, the way we accept, and that we can lead a peaceful life and we respect our boy and we've learned to understand his symptoms. And uh, I think that that was his road to recovery. Of course, it was important that his medication be monitored and to be f we had to uh, wait many years to find a medication that was able to help him uh, understand uh, or control his symptoms but that's part of what a clinician has to do. My feeling is that it's the carer who needs to be able to bring the family together uh, so that there's not uh, anger and animosity between siblings uh, and also within that family that 
we all understand that there are times when we maybe have to set some boundaries, we may have to set in some ideas on how to all work together.